Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to detect the OS and the browser and the browser version of the user using JavaScript. Now in this video, we will add some if conditions and we will display different text based on the operating system. And I will also show you how to add this code to your Blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here is our source code. Right, let's create an h2 over here and let's give it a class of instruction. And here we just type press ctrl, which is control plus e to get started. So this is the default text that we need to have. So now if we save this and if you go back to our web page, here we can see we have this heading and it says press control plus e to get started. Now what we need to do over here is that when we are using a Mac OS, we want to display command instead of control. So for that we need to add an if condition. And when we open this web page in a smartphone, we're going to display some different text. We'll just display that you cannot use this uh, on a smartphone. And for the iPad, we will have a different text. So let's do all of that. Let's go back to our JavaScript. And first of all, let's reference this instruction h2. So here let's type const heading equals document.querySelector h2 dot instruction right now if you go back to our web page and if i just open the console and uh, let's just type platform dot os and here we can see as the return we get an object and in that we have this family and in the family we have os x displayed so this is for mac os so what we need to do is we need to type platform dot os dot family and we need to check whether it is OS X. So for that, let's go back to our JavaScript. And here, let's add an if condition and let's type platform dot OS dot family equals equals. And let's check whether it is OS X. And if it is OS X, we have to type heading dot inner HTML. And we'll just set it to press command plus E to get started. Right now let's go back to our web page and here we can see it says press command plus e to get started that's because right now i am using a mac right now let's add an if condition for the smartphone so let's type else if platform dot os dot family equals equals and let's type ios and here let's type heading dot inner html and let's set it to you can't use this on a smartphone Right now let's go back to our web page and we'll just open the smartphone version. So I'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And let's click on this button called toggle device toolbar. And uh, let's open iPhone. And let's refresh this page. And now we can see it says you can't use this on a smartphone. Now let's open an Android. So let's open Samsung. And let's refresh this page. And now we can see it says press Control plus E to get started. Now even for the Android, we need to have the same message that we had for the iPhone. So let's go back to our code and here we need to add an OR. So let's type OR over here. So this is the pipe symbol. And let's type platform dot OS dot family equals equals Android. Now if you go back to our web page and if I refresh this page, here we can see it says you can't use this on a smartphone. So it's the same message for the iPhone and the Android as well. Now if we open the iPad, here also we have the same message. Now for the iPad, we will have a different message. So for that, we need to remove this Android from here. And we need to add it as a different if condition. So let's remove it from here. I'll just cut it. And here I'll just add an else for that. So I'll just type else if and paste it over here. And here I'll just add the same line of code so i'll just copy this from here and paste it down here now here for the ios we will add one more if condition and here we can see we have this product and it is set to ipad so we will check the product of the device when we have an ios so here let's type platform equals equals ipad and here we will add a different message so let's type heading dot inner html equals and I'll just type rotate your tablet to get started. And here I'll just add an else. 
and in the else we will add this line of code so now if you go back to our web page and if I refresh this page here we can see it says rotate your tablet to get started when we are on an iPad but if you open the iPhone here we can see it says you can't use this on a smartphone and let's open an Android device and uh, let's refresh this page now we can see we have the correct message and if you just remove this and if you go back to the rest of version here we can see it says press command plus e to get started so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add an if condition to have different messages depending on the operating system now let's add this code to our blogger website and let's see whether it works so here i am in my blogger dashboard let's create a new post and i'll just add some title i'll just type awesome tool to design website and here the first thing we need to do is go into the html view so if you are in the compose view just click on this button and click on html view and now let's add the html and the javascript over here so let's go back to our source code and let's go to our index.html file and let's copy everything from here till here and let's paste it over here and let's create a script tag for the javascript and let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this javascript from here and let's paste it over here inside the script tag now here you can add more if conditions if you want so if you go to the platform.js github page and if you go to the documentation and if you click on platform.os and platform.os.family here we can see we have the common values displayed over here so we can have windows windows server 2000 and uh, windows xp vista os x linux ubuntu and all these uh, different operating systems over here so you can add if conditions for all of these all right let's go back to our post and uh, let's publish this confirm and now let's open this and let's see whether it works so let's click on view and now we can see it says press command plus e to get started let's open the mobile version so let's go to inspect and let's click on toggle device toolbar and uh, let's refresh this page and here we can see for the smartphone version we have you can't use this on a smartphone let's open an iphone and let's refresh this page and we have the same message let's open the ipad and let's refresh this page and here we can see we have a different message for the ipad so that's basically how you can use the platform.js library to detect the operating system and also display different messages based on the operating system all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,